everybody, this is Pastor Ben Lim with your show, The Breaker, where we are believing for breakthrough in every area of your life. The Bible says that God is Baal Perazam. He's the Lord of the breakthrough, like rushing waterfalls. We're so excited because today on this episode, we have our very good friend, the one and only the man of God, the apostle of joy, the leader of global celebration, this glorious festive party all around the world. His name is Georgian Banoff. Man of God, we love you. We welcome you. Thank you for being such a legend, a father of the faith, and an apostle of joy to this generation. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's great. Great to be with you. Well, we're so excited. Friends and family, we want you to share right now because today we're going to talk about the breakthrough of Jubilee joy because there is an anointing in joy. There is a Jubilee anointing. And I believe what this man of God carries, Georgian Banoff, there is a Jubilee joy breaker anointing that's released. Now talk to us, Mr. Georgian. How important is it for us to not just be happy, but to be joyful? Because there is a difference with happiness and joy. Exactly. Well, uh, how important it is, I tell you, I tell you, there's a story in the Bible in the uh, book of Nehemiah where uh, the exiles from uh, came back Jewish exiled in Jerusalem, and they were released by, I believe, King Cyrus to come back home and, and begin the rebuilding of the temple, begin rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem and so forth. So they become, again, strong nation as they were. And uh, then the enemy starts uh, attack, harassing him. You know, when the enemy sees that you're rebuilding and stuff, they go after you to, uh, and, and uh, they stop the building because they, they can't, got scared and also got... Uh, you know, exhausted, and and then Nehemiah gave him a powerful word. It says, uh, "The joy of uh, rejoice, my people. The joy of the Lord is your strength." And and that the joy of the Lord is not just feeling good, like you said, just happiness, and which nothing wrong with feeling good and happiness. And uh, but we're not talking about feeling joyful when you go uh, to an ice cream and take your kids to ice cream or anything. That's great. But we're not talking about that kind of human joy. We're talking about the spiritual joy, the joy of mm. the Lord wow. that is inside our spirit. The second fruit of the Spirit mentioned in, in Galatians 5.22 uh -huh. is uh, the, 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 the fruit of the Spirit is love. And then right next to it, joy. And wow. then peace. You know, So it's integral. It's not like uh, sometime, Ben, we, we're looking at joy almost like a dessert, like at the end of the meal, if you have room for a, a dessert you know, in the restaurant, the, you know, and they go, no, nah, I'm okay. Or, and so it's not an extra, it's not a dessert. Yeah. It's just as essential as love is. Just so as good. essential as peace is. You can't, uh, God is God of peace. You know, it's not like external stuff. It's inside you. He's the Shalom, the P Prince of Shalom, the Prince of Peace. He gives us peace to give to those around. Uh, it's not like peaceful because we're all around peaceful, but because He's peaceful inside. He is yeah. joyful. Often we think, okay, we agree God is peaceful and God is love. We agree with that, but we're not exactly sure if, if He's got a this He's God of joy. It's like all the time. But the mm. Bible says clearly. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. Yeah. Not a little bit, but it's fullness. And how, how do I know? Well, the Lord took me to heaven when I was a very young Christian. I didn't know anything about, I was born and raised communism and communist. I had no idea that even God existed. So once I, I came to the Jesus people, they witnessed to me and got me, led me to Jesus. Then they said, there's more. I go, what, what is more? I got Jesus now. They go, well, Holy Ghost to baptize you. Yeah, come on. And they kept talking to me about the Holy Ghost, and I got tired of listening without having it, you know. And I go, that's it. I don't want to hear another word unless I got it. And and then they say, okay, we're going to pray for you. And suddenly the room disappeared, the wall disappeared, rather, and I'm in a throne room. Ben, I'm inside, like, I don't know wow. how... My back was still in that room, but my face was, I was in the wow. throne, like I'm seeing you here on the, on the screen. It's yes. uh, it's right in front of me, and I see the throne of God, and God covered with what seems like millions of angels swirling around in ecstasy, ecstasy, and shouts, and 
joy and and um, and in the midst of their from God was coming out these lightning seems like and mm. one of those lightnings went right through through the angels and came right at me and it hit me in the in the chest area and oh it was good but too much you know it was like intense and and like liquid love and liquid fires mixed together wow. I don't know how to describe it very very hot and very and then this, by the second ball it hit me I couldn't take it anymore and Whoa. I just I just backed out of the, this I don't even know what I was doing it's not like I was saying oh I want to go to heaven none of that Jesus <clears throat> a young christian I, you know there is heaven but who would think about that I did not think about that the lord opened heaven and it was like I used to be a part of a rock and roll band me and three boys there the first actually the first rock band in Bulgaria and wow. to us rock and roll is like intense you know the shows the thousands of people they're screaming shouting all that that's the rush of you know the shows but this was more rush and more powerful than uh, any rock show ever the emotion so the frenzy you know even without drugs you feel this adrenaline of the thousands of, this was way more powerful than Rexel wow. in a way he he cooked if you want to will that word he cooked that whole idea that nothing like rock and roll like ecstasy like thrill and rush and all that he 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 cut it uh, just like destroyed it by this anointing uh, of g- gladness and joy hit me and like then i knew that even the biggest rock show cannot compare to what i was seeing right now and feeling right now so uh the reason i'm saying that cuz years later uh we when the iron curtain fell we started a bible project and we did the new testament in both greek and bulgarian and and strong's concordance number system and and a dictionary and all my rock and roll friends from the media they were so happy to see me I'm back and I'm doing this bible study they go what what is the what does the rock and roll star have to do with the bible and and god and all these study materials i'm going everything and they go like what i says like god is uh, like rock and roll is power but god is more powerful yeah uh you know uh, yeah you know, i mean i was describing to them the superiority because i felt it man when i was wow. young christian god cooked that yeah. I, idolatry really was it's like idolatry exalting man you're, you're you know but he he destroyed it by showing me his power Come his on. joy yeah. his anointing and the gladness the joy i i know that anointing by Come experience on. so much yeah. so that i had to run away from that room i, I ran away i couldn't handle it physically ban it the intensity that's why we need a glory body to go to heaven you cannot physically uh, in, endure so your, your, your physical flesh it cannot handle you're going to get mm-hmm. close like the presence of god is be, not only joyful but is also consuming fire so good consuming yeah. fire anyways that's that's what i wanted to say about this joy is not just a little human thing it's holy ghost fire god himself Come on experience Ooh. inside your spirit inside yeah. only your spirit can handle uh, a, a revelation of that physically it's difficult i mean you could a little bit but i'm telling you the intensity is thank god we have a new spirit so at yeah. least a spirit we could we could get an idea where we're going someday in heaven wow that's incredible i i love how you're really teaching and breaking it down right now Georgian and uh, I'm I used to be a drug dealer. I used to uh, do drugs all the time, get high drunk all the time. Uh, but you're absolutely right. The the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost is more intoxicating, more enumerating, more exhilarating than anything I've ever done in my life in my previous life. And so uh, there's so many people watching right now that you bear witness with what we're sharing. You're saying, "Whoa, Pastor Ben, Georgia Adam, I need a touch of God. I need the joy of the Lord. I I I've been a Christian all my life. But I need the Holy Ghost to intoxicate and infumigate me from the inside out. Now I I love this because I remember uh your wife Winnie, uh, she does this incredible teaching on uh bliss and ecstasy, you know, of course in 1 Corinthians. 
It talks about Apostle Joy says, Apostle John, excuse me, says, uh, you know, I knew a man who went to heaven and he, he saw things. He experienced things in a trance. And that word actually means ecstasia, ecstasy. I used to be an ecstasy dealer. I used to deal ecstasy pills. But that word is ecstasia, bliss. Wow. Now talk to us, uh, Georgian, just how important it is. I mean, I mean, literally, when we are one with God, there's ecstasy, there's bliss, there's oneness with God. I mean, and today in the pandemic, in the so-called pandemonium, you know, we need people, we as believers especially, we should be spirit-filled, oozing, goozing out the love, the joy, the peace of God more than ever before. So talk to us just about this ecstatic bliss with Jesus. Yeah, so so it says in his presence, his fullness of joy, I've experienced that so uh, intensely in a spirit that my body was affected and, and I, I had to stop this interaction. This spiritual interaction was too much. Now I'm ready for more, always more and more. But back then I was like almost panicked because he's going to, if, if I go another degree, I'll explode. I mean, they feel that that way. Anyways, uh, but I've never read the scripture at the time I was a young Christian. I was like a week old or two weeks old. And I got baptized with that Holy Ghost fire anointing. And then, of course, a day or two later, I, I spoke in tongues as well. Um, but then I read in the scripture and says, uh, Psalm 16, and in the end, it's his fullness of joy and the prayer. And then in the right hand, mm -hmm. at the right hand, there are right. pleasures forevermore. Now, uh, my wife's, book on, on bliss you know she's got a whole uh, a whole book on bliss and and that book has got about 60 or 70 uh places where uh where the book oh. word bliss is found uh, king james doesn't use that word but several others one of them is uh, james moffat translation and right there it says uh uh it, it, and at your right hand uh, there's bliss bliss forevermore bliss wow. and, and the word bliss if you study it in a in a and in, in your dictionary you can see that bliss in old english word means uh extreme joy uh ecstasy of salvation specifically so it's uh, the drug ecstasy the chemical stuff that that is the it's a counterfeit but the real bliss yeah. the real ecstasy come on comes from experiencing the lord because he is the lord of ecstasy yes. He's the Lord of bliss. You know, if you have trouble that the Lord is joyful, get ready because there's more. Not only joyful, ecstatic. He's cool. ecstasy. He's the God of ecstasy, God of joy, God of bliss, God of love, God of peace. All this is, all this is not some extras. And if need be, it's you need it now. We yeah. you need to know all that God is. God is uh, the word faith. You know, He's hope. He's his trust, you know, all that this is integrity of who he is, the, the, the constitution, the, the DNA. And we've been baptized, we've been born again, rather, from the spirit, yeah. from God himself. Like a God is our spiritual father, rebirthing our spirit. Our uh, body is the same, but our spirit was dead and, 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 act, and, and active. But he, he cut that off on the cross and cut that old spirit and he infused by the new birth, the new spirit. So the old was crucified in the grave, buried, and then when he was raised, he raised this this uh, a realm for you when you accept Jesus to get that bliss, that spirit of God inside you. That is the place where you could experience his uh, who he is, you know. And and then we could. I mean, this is the the reality for every born again believer. You could, you're yeah. brand new baby. Like in my case, I was like a week too old. You can experience God's bliss and God's love and God's joy. Everything you need is uh, your spirit is able, capable of experiencing. Of course, uh, you know, our soul is different realm. Like we got to renew our minds and all this stuff. I, I Absolutely, continuously. But you don't need to go to any school or to do anything uh, to, to experience this bliss in your Come spirit. On. So yes. all we need to do is, is just kind of take time daily and, and realize that uh, that new man is a spirit, that the new wow. you, the new you, the new identity is a spirit. 
And so, and where's the spirit? Where's the new man? Inside your heart. It's inside. That's the new, you know. And, and so, I mean, just being born again is such yeah. amazing revelation. If we can oh. get all that yeah. is in you, you're born, you're a new spirit. And that spirit is where the Holy Ghost come in and out. It's like not in and out, yeah. meaning communication and experiences. So God is raising through you, Ben, I believe, a new generation of experiencing God in your heart of hearts, in your spirit. Come on. Yes. Uh, and then and then out of the spirit, out of the inner man, through the soul, through the body, comes out rivers, because it's not just like a one gallon of God. It's not mm. like one kilo or one pound of God. It's endless supply. Come on. Endless supply, endless supply from the spirit. So stay away from the physical uh, TVs and bad news and, like you said, fake news and all this pandemic stuff. And stay in this as much as you can every day. And connect with through the word, through worship, through meditation, through just being with the Lord. Just being with the Lord, and and you can start feeling. That a, a, a spiritual emotion, spiritual affection. This book of Psalms says, I will praise you affectionately. It's beyond emotion. It's the affections of the heart, the spirit. That's what David was prophesying. We can, so he was prophesying the new birth. Eventually, we got it now. But don't let religion keep you only soulish and only mental on. and only physical. Don't, don't block that. Don't stop at that. Go into the spirit of who you are. Christ is inside you. The anointing of all anointings is inside you. From the moment you're born again, it's not a long, long journey eventually. It's the new birth, the new spirit, the new, like the new baby in Christ is just as much a spirit man or spirit woman as, as you're going to ever be in future, in eternity. You're not going to develop uh, some change of the spirit. Your soul, yes. Your body going to transform. But your spirit, my gosh, is eternal. As he is, so are you. He made you himself oh. with his spirit. Woo! I know we got wrecked and the, uh, old, uh. the old man died and stuff, but and your physical body is reacting. But I tell you, oh. the new birth is he made you by with himself. He made you as beautiful as he could be, man, in the spirit, right? That's it. My That's God. the bliss. The ecstasy is staying in My. In, in, in community, we call it drinking, drink of yes. the Holy Spirit, drink, because you're just like, you're just like consuming and, and, and he just like, yeah, oh my gosh, Woo, I'm my, getting there, I'm just kind of like. Mr. Jill, Mr. Jill, I, I don't know uh, about you, friends, I'm, I'm feeling the, the presence and the pleasure of God, like, I'm feeling the joy of the Lord, I mean, our friend, uh, Apostle Georgian, he carries he carries a joy and anointing. I mean, you know, and just a revelation you're giving. I mean, I'm just being so refreshed right now. So I just love and appreciate you so much. Is anybody else being blessed by this? If you're being blessed, I want you to comment joy, joy, amen. You know, I mean, it's it, this is so important. And I feel uh, like, again, tradition and religion has made it so difficult for people to actually experience freedom and joy. Like children, we're too grown up or we're too adulting that we're no longer children in Christ Jesus. Um, but, of course, right now, Georgian, there's so many counterfeits. There's so many distractions. There's so much that's trying to take our mind away, put stress, anxiety, fake news, fear, all of this. But we need to continue to abide in the Lord, like Georgian said. And I just love this because... He wants to give you a fresh drink today. He wants to give you a fresh encounter today. Amen. Mr. Gio, I mean, this is so incredible. But, you know, I believe that there's a jubilee joy anointing. You know, uh, despite what the world says, despite what the news media says, this is the year of jubilee. Now, I, I want to read this passage uh, very quickly, and I'm going to pass it to you. But in Leviticus 25, uh, of course, it talks about uh, the Jubilee year, which is the 50th year. Some would say 50. But in the Jubilee year, uh, there is a sound that's released all across the land. And it says as well that everybody will return your property 
and you will return to your family. So in a jubilee year or a jubilee anointing, debts are canceled. Financial debts are canceled. You are forgiven of all transgressions. Come on, I said forgiven. You're forgiven. Debts are canceled. Land is returned to you. The stolen things are re returned, restored to you. And of course, there's jubilation. There's salvation. There's freedom. Now, this is the gospel. Why? Because on Luke 4, Jesus opens up the scroll and reads Isaiah 61. This is confirmed. This is fulfilled today. It is the year of the Lord's favor. Come on, somebody. I believe Jesus, as he opened up the scroll, that scroll is still open up for you today. It's a jubilee season. No matter what, jubilation. God has canceled your debts. He's forgiven you. He set you free. He saved you. This is a new season. No matter what the world is saying. Now, Mr. Georgian, even in the midst of this pandemic and all these things going on, I mean, I believe that there's a Jubilee Joy anointing that's being released right now. A Jubilee Joy anointing. How important do you think it is for us to grasp this reality that no matter our financial bills, our medical bills, no matter what the world says, that we actually carry the spirit of Jubilee Joy inside of us wherever we go? Yeah, I love I love that Jubilee uh, revelation. I've, I've studied it. It's in the Liberty Bell of the United States of America. Yeah. That very scripture. It's Amen. Leviticus 25.10. It's powerful. I I was shocked to because I studied the um to become uh to become a citizen, uh not naturalized. I had to study somewhat of a, the history of America. This part of my thing is an immigrant. And I I mean to 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 hear that there is a scripture on the America Liberty Bell, I'm going, what? You know what? I mean I wasn't Christian, you know, so uh, anyways, the scripture is about financial freedom to all the inhabitants throughout this land, everyone. This is supposed to be a, a land of blessing, no matter what race, no matter what color, no matter what, the, uh, uh, you know, so there is a special uh, anointing. Now in the world is different, people uh, just, but in, this, in the body of Christ, we should all expect to, to have that jubilee uh, in us and, and give it to the world. You know, because back then yeah. they were ringing the bell, a reminder, jubilee, jubilee, freedom, freedom. And of course, primarily most of them were Christians. The leaders were godly men. But today, not all the leaders are godly. And and but we, the body of Christ, we should be leaders uh, of that. And uh, I know you look young, you're younger than me, but you're uh, leading a, a whole nother next generation. I'm I'm behind you just kind of cheering you guys on. And uh, the scripture Thanks. that I want to say is, is uh, the, and why why that not is always like that, because the first, second Corinthians chapter one, verse 24 says, we're not here to lord it over your faith, but we're here uh, to be helpers of your joy. King James, mm. helpers of it. This is the apostolic anointing and function, really the apostolic function. Um, and that is for the fathers and mothers of the, the past, the, the faith that we bring to, to, uh, to bring it to the next generation, not by way of controlling, but because we know that every believer is standing with the Lord by his own personal faith. This is very, very sacred yeah. that we, we empower every believer to, to stand on his own, not to rely on me or so, but what, what we are doing as fathers, helpers of joy, workers of joy, uh, the NIV, workers of joy, King James says, faith, uh, helpers of joy, the, uh, the Passion Translation says, we are uh, partners, we are partners who are called to increase your joy. In it, mm -hmm. whatever scripture, whatever translation, is, this is it. A parent, really healthy parent, mom and dad, what they want is their kids to be joyful, to be happy. When kids are not happy, let's say they're crying, first thing the parent says, what's the matter? What What's going on? Because that's not a, the state. The permanent state is to be yeah. happy, to be kid. Your child, you need to be feel protected, feel, you know, and we, we'll share the last piece of bread with you to give you for you because this is what parents do. Spiritually, that's what the real 
fathers and real apostles, real leaders, prophets in the, in the word. And that's the Lord is raising uh, this level right now, new generation of fathering and mothering. So I'm just passing on to you this joy. They call me joy apostles. It's not just uh, just me feeling good and stuff and being happy, but 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 to be actually helper of your joy. This is how we are. Uh, the joy has a purpose to increase. Again, wow. the joy is not just in itself, but the joy in the Lord, the rejoice in the Lord. It's always relational to God himself. This is the joy yeah. we're talking about. So when we're talking about fathers uh, raising sons and daughters, helpers of your joy, meaning helpers of your joy in the Lord, leaving you so that you're so connected, create, I mean, uh, helping you and, and mentoring in a situation you're so connected directly with the Lord that you just experience his joy. When, when that's blocked, when, when, when we're not, when we're sort of controlling you, you know, sometimes mom can smother you or this or that, you know, over, over, you know, parent, that, then, then we make you dependent on, on, on a parent. But true parents in the Lord make you dependent on the Lord himself directly. That way you're, you're empowered by him. Then you can empower others. That's the true spirit of Christianity, empowering believers to be one with the Lord, to be united with him. And of course, that's what ecstasy is. If you feel controlled, if you feel like you're not in connection with the Lord, then, then you're insecure, right? And then there's no joy. There's no love. There's no joy. But when we direct you, con make you con con contact with the Lord and being in constant relationship with the Lord, then you feel his love. Then you feel his joy. Then you feel his peace. You don't, you don't need me to provide peace for you. The Lord is providing. But yes. my job is to get you locked in, one with the Lord. And that's that's the passing of the baton. That's, that's the nation is to get you locked in with the Lord. So wow. that's, that's my revelation of parenting in the Lord, you know, and, and m mentoring in the Lord. And uh, I feel like you're really receiving that and you're like the next generation mentors, the next generation fathers and around you, you're going to uh, uh, you're going to raise. Listen, when you when you're ministering to people in front of you, uh, you're ministering to next generation of you don't have to be older, younger. It's the, the generation of fathering that does exactly that. So when I look at every audience person everybody as the father and mother in the lord and my job is to to help you get it because that's it that's the job in the world to raise moms and dads that they can raise other moms and dads my god Amen. mr jordan uh i i'm just feeling uh the love of god uh we love you uh you you are incredible i can literally hear bells ringing in the spirit right now because we know the Jubilee Joy anointing is, is actually, you know, passed on. And it's through relationship. It's through family. You know, uh, freedom and salvation and jubilation comes to relationship. And so I'm, I'm hearing bells ring in the spirit. So we release freedom, salvation, uh, joy over you. Uh, God is, you know, your good father. He's canceling debts. He's forgiving you of all sins he already did. And so be free, be happy, roam around like the wonderful child of God that you are. And just like Mr. Georgian said, there's a baton that's being passed to you. So receive that people of God. Mr. Georgian, we need to close in just a few minutes. It's been such a joy having you. I mean, just the revelation you're pouring out is just incredible. But you have a new book. It's right behind you. This yeah. new book on joy. Can you talk to us just, just about two minutes about this book? And where can we go to find it and purchase it? This is going to be an incredible book. Talk to us. Yeah, uh, I have been approached by several uh, publishers. And finally, this one uh, from uh, Chosen Books, which is part of Baker. A uh, wonderful lady uh, that finally, it touched me in my heart. I got to do it. This is a big job. I mean, writing a book is not like this. But finally, it was just, okay, I feel the Lord. So uh, it's the story of my life talking about young being raised in communism and no dad, uh, eventually rebel rock and roll, like a cold war, 
rock and roll, and finally I escaped. I got tired of the controlling communists. Don't you ever fall for this communist. It's yeah. a lie. They're, they're the most vicious. There's practically no difference between Lenin and Stalin and Hitler and Mao Zedong. All these communists and fascists, whatever you call them, they're all controllers and hate hate people, basically. So, so anyways, but I escaped. I managed to escape through the, if you've heard of the Berlin Wall, but there's a whole iron curtain. There was like iron curtain of death. You cross it, they'll kill you. So somehow I escaped Paracas. I say the story how I escaped miraculously. I was smuggled by the Polish black man. And then I made it to the U.S. And I went to the Hollywood to continue my rock and roll career. And Jesus people just loved on oh. me right on the street and brought me to the house, fed me. It's a long story and, and won my heart. And I opened my heart and Jesus, you know, he revealed himself. Then I said, uh, uh, as I said, I, I got the experience with the heaven, with Holy Ghost, with joy. All these stories are in, you know, and all my experiences, I was part of the first rock First, the, the beginning of the Christian rock music, Christian, Christian, Christian music. You know, like the the early wow. church, early Christian music, the the Jesus uh -huh. music, rather. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, we introduced drums and guitars, and it, it was like at first was like some people couldn't handle it, but young people go yay, and so we win. We won a lot of young people in the seventies, and you know, and uh, so the then then I was part of the the. Uh, writing of a children's stuff. There was nothing for children in the 70s. So we wrote stuff, uh, songs for bullfrogs and butterflies, uh, music machine. Those are albums that we created for children. And all that, my history intertwined with the experiences of God and heaven and Jesus, two times to heaven, and then with Jesus himself many times, and a revelation of the word, the finished work, united with Christ. All that is intertwined with this little wow. book. It's very potent, very powerful, and says... God's secret weapon for every believer. That's joy. Hopefully, it's not going to be secrets. It's on Amazon, of course. Just wow. came out a couple of days ago. It's brand new. So good. Brand new. It's called God. I love it. Can you say that God's secret weapon? Weapon. For, for every, every believer. For every believer. It is joy, people of God. You need to get this joy book. I really feel like it's, it's probably like your life memoir slash life mantle in a book so I, i'm so happy i can't wait to get copies of it i'll, I'll get five from you i'll buy five from you uh, and uh you know and uh, we just love you mr georgian listen you know there's been such an incredible presence and uh just love and peace and joy it's so incredible uh man of god can you just pray for our friends right now they're saying pastor ben you know i've been a little sad you know, there's a lot of people going home to be with the Lord. A lot of people are dying, lots of exposure, lots of things going on in the world today. But they need a breakthrough with this Jubilee Joy anointing. So can you just quickly pray and release that over our friends and family as we're about to close, please? Absolutely. Father, thank you for that breakthrough anointing that is right now available. King David asked oh. you like a son, like a child, God, can you... Are you going to help me beat these these uh, enemies around me? Shall I go after him? What do you say? And God says, I will do. I'll help you beat him. You. Go for it. And that was where God poured his strength and his supernatural victory on his son, David. And that same anointing, Baal Perazim, is available for you and me, the sons and daughters of God, for the crushing of the enemy. There's nothing more pleasurous and joyful to the Lord is to defeat the enemy again and again and release the blessing, the forgiveness, the jubilee, uh, the, uh, the, what the enemy stole to uh, come seven times and re really come back yes. to you. And both uh, souls, most importantly, that you and your family shall be saved. Your uncle, your moms, your dads, your siblings, your nephews, they're going to be all saved. And that's right. the biggest thing that God's going to give you. And also just uh, all this... Uh, you know, financial things and so that you could supply the gospel for the greatest harvest of yes. souls is upon us. I just released that breaker, that breakthrough anointing for that, for that goal uh, to fulfill God's will in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. People of God, I hope you enjoyed this broadcast today, this episode of the breaker where God is breaking through in your life with Jubilee joy anointing. Amen. We had our very good friend, man of God, Papa of the Faith, 
Georgian Banoff. Make sure you get his book. It's Pastor Ben Lim and Georgian Banoff today with The Breaker. Until next time, make sure you comment below what you enjoyed and do subscribe. God bless you.